Hey, what's going on YouTube and Facebook family? I hope everybody's stirred up and having a great day. Hey, I want to challenge you if you don't already do this, but start every day with a heart of gratitude towards the Lord. Every morning when I wake up, I always thank the Lord for what He's done, what He's doing, and what He's going to do. I just love having a heart of gratitude towards the Lord. It really sets the tone for my day. Now let's jump into this word. Hey, whenever I'm wearing my shirt, I carry the spirit of breakthrough. You know it's going to be a good day. So over the past three or four days, I've, I've just been in a, an extra time of prayer. I felt some resistance. Now understand, when you talk about resistance and breakthrough, that's not always bad. You know how a lot of times, especially in the Pentecostal and charismatic circles, we like to talk about going to the next level, going to new horizons. Well, that means that you got to have a breakthrough. So when somebody's praying for a breakthrough, that doesn't always mean an addiction or something that is holding them back. It may mean that they're going to the next place in God. And every time that you go to the next place, you got to break through the old place. Dr. Miles Monroe used to always say, you can have what you can manage. A lot of times the biggest breakthrough that we have to have is in our mind, okay? So over the past three or four days, I've just felt that my wife and I in a lot of areas in our life, ministries, um, business and a bunch of different projects that we got going on that I just kind of felt a little resistance which means the enemy yes could be coming against us he's always coming against people that's moving forward and then also we're hitting some some ceilings of some old levels well that means that you got to have a breakthrough now here's what happens a lot of times people like to sit on the couch while they're watching Netflix and just throw up a hey God I need a breakthrough no you got to pray like that breakthrough depends on God only, and you got to work like that breakthrough depends on you. God wants to bless your hands. You need to have your hands working on something. And so the past three or four days, I just felt this breakthrough was coming. Yesterday, I was in our sanctuary praying, and I felt the Lord wanted me to devote about two hours extra in prayer um, every day this week. So I was spending this extra time in prayer. And I felt this opposition. I felt these limits try to come against me. And we don't do limits very well. And so I felt this warfare, this breakthrough anointing rise up in me. Now, always remember this. I say this all the time. When you are breakthrough, when you carry the breakthrough anointing, you live in breakthrough. You don't have to pray for a breakthrough, okay? So I felt this rise up in me. And then I felt the goodness of God. I got super excited and stirred up because I know that God is about to do something great. Listen, the Lord's never lost a battle, so don't worry about it when you're going through a hard time. You're going to be fine. So I started just really praying hard yesterday, and I felt this just the Spirit of the Lord. And then last night in corporate prayer, this one things got real, in corporate prayer, I felt the wind of God, like a literal wind coming through our sanctuary. You can just feel the wind of God. I got super excited. I started walking around, making declarations, decrees, did a little dancing, just kind of had a little, little hop in my step. I was feeling this, the presence and the power of God. And the Lord was speaking to me about, oh, there's a lot of things you're about to break through, but I need you to push through, which means you push through in prayer. You make declarations and decrees. You push on through with that breakthrough anointing. And also, whatever God has called you to do, whatever God has called you to work, work that thing. You know, whatever it may be. There's a lot of people that you need a breakthrough in your marriage, your, your parenting, your business, your ministries, whatever it may be. Work on that. You need to have that push-through anointing. See, here's what happens. The people that have a welfare mentality, they want God to do everything for them. When God blesses them, they don't hold that in as high regard as much as somebody who worked for that. Like, let's just say there's two people that got a new car and somebody didn't do anything for that car. It was just given to them. They probably won't value it as much as the person that's been working for a while that got the new vehicle because of their, their work. And so I, I know in my life there's been times that just outright God blessed me. And then there's times that my wife and I have worked towards something and prayed and God provided something that was a blessing I always value those more because I really came in partnership with God. I hope that makes sense to everybody. So now let's fast forward to, to this morning. When I woke up this morning, 
a long time before the alarm clock went off and I got up. I felt a breakthrough anointing so strong. I had to pull out my shirt that says I carry the breakthrough anointing and, and I, I started praying and I felt that push through anointing so strong. All of a sudden in my early morning prayer, God gave me a few ideas for one of my businesses. I said, Woo Lord, that's good. Then God gave me an idea for one of our ministries. I said, God, that is good. And then I felt that the Lord spoke to me really strongly. He said, you need to release this word, this breakthrough, this push through anointing is coming upon a lot of people. Now I say in America, cause that's where I live, but also for people, the nations of the world that's been pushing against what may be like a wall or a ceiling. Listen, your breakthrough is there, but you got to have that push through, you know, like Samson put his hands on the pillars of the temple. There was a breakthrough. There was a push through anointing. You got to have that in the natural realm and also in the spirit realm. You got to break through in the spirit, but also in the natural. So put your hands to whatever God has called you to do. Like if you got a business that's struggling, man, go at it again today afresh. Remember why you started the business. You know, if you got a job that you don't like, but you know, God's got you there, go in there with a new attitude today. You know, I was telling my kids just, you know, a while back about when we go, when we're going to school in the morning, cause they don't have the driver's license. And, and so we're going to school. And I just said, you know, when you get your mind focused before you go to school, you have a better day. And man, they put on some, some praise and we were having some radical praise in the car the other day and and just they left with an amazing attitude and after school they were like man you know we just had a great day and it started when we were on our ride to school because i mean kids really don't like going to school but we put that praise on you know they they had that understanding that they're going to have a breakthrough anointing on them throughout the day and that they're going to be able to push through anything when you want to achieve something great in life, you got to have that push through anointing. Whatever comes my way, I'm going to push through. I am a child of God. There is nothing that is going to be able to stop me. So this morning, you know, I said I was felt this through the wind of God, just the breakthrough and just the, that press through anointing. And then I went in there and guess what? My wife is wearing her t-shirt. I carry the spirit of breakthrough. I said, oh Lord, I've already felt that I was going to have an amazing day. She said, me too. And so we, we're both going at our day just with the mindset that we're going to break through. We're going to have a push through anointing. We're going to pray ourselves through. And then also we're going to put our hands to every ministry and business that God has given us. And we are going to succeed in everything that God has given us because failure is, is not an option. But we, we got to move forward. I'm an apostle. I don't go backwards. I just go forward. And so I'm going to do everything I can. So we, you know, solidified some quick stuff in some of our businesses and we're moving on it, doing some different things in just the, the ministries we have. And so I want to challenge you today with this word. Make sure that you're moving forward with the things of God and understand there is a breakthrough anointing that God is putting on so many people. Now, I'm going to challenge you with this. There, there's got to be a breakthrough. Uh, the reason a lot of people don't succeed, a lot of reason why people are going out of business and losing ministries is they don't have the breakthrough anointing that push through anointing in their mind. Okay? You have to understand that when times change, you got to know what God is doing and you got to roll with them. That's why my wife and our health coaching business has been so successful and it's doing so good because we are figuring out what God is doing. The sons of Issachar, they were they understood the times, the seasons and the times. They were good in the business world and also they were leaders in the temple. And so you got to understand that's that king and priest anointing. You got to know what the Lord is doing, you know. I saw something funny the other day. It said the the world's largest taxi ser service is Uber, yet they don't own any cars. The largest um, rental properties is Airbnb, yet they own no properties. And it just went on to talk about like Amazon is the world's biggest distributor, yet they sell other people's products. And so things are changing in the world. When I was growing up, you you went to, to Sears, you know, if you wanted something. Our Sears store is vacant now in Texarkana. And so you got to understand that things are changing. You got to have a breakthrough in your mindset. You got to have a breakthrough in your emotions. You got to have a breakthrough in the way that you do things. And a lot of times when, when things are changing, you got to put your hands to you got to put your hands to the plow and you got to move forward. I, I I've seen some churches that were, were, were thriving leaders in regions and now they're not there anymore. I, I know a bunch of ministers who were mentors to me when I was younger. They're not even in ministry anymore. I, I, I see people who um, I used to really look up to in ministry 
and they're not doing anything like that anymore. You see people who are wealthy businessmen who go bankrupt. Why? But because a lot of times people get lazy and they lose that breakthrough mindset. They lose that we got to push through anointing. And, and listen, friends, there's nothing certain in this world. Just because something worked yesterday doesn't mean it's going to work today. You got to stay in there fresh with God. Okay. So hope this word helped you and blessed you. Now, I always like to offer prayer. Go to our website, jojodawson.net. Go to the top right-hand corner. Hit the Contact Connect button. If you want prayer, there, there's a place you can go. You can send uh, us a prayer request. Also, if you would like information about our health coaching, health coaching programs, Lose Weight, Wellness, my wife and I absolutely love this business. We call it a ministry. It's just another avenue to minister to people. Also, you may be interested in the coaching opportunity. I talk about it all the time. We love it. I'm passionate about it. I'm 46 years young, and I am in probably the best shape of my life. So if you want information about that, also on our website, you can send me a message there. But I just love praying for people, and I love helping people in every way that I can. And I hope this word blessed you today. Remember, it's what the Lord spoke to me about. That breakthrough, push through anointing, is upon you. Now go out there, do what you're called to do.